Listen, pay attention, because what I'm about to tell you will change your life forever if you really take it in. The truth is harsh, raw, and few have the courage to face it. But if you're here, it's because you already feel something isn't right. You're tired of being manipulated, of chasing after women, of feeling empty inside, right? It's time to wake up, to see the reality no one tells you about. You are the only one responsible for your own happiness, for your own value. And as long as you keep putting women on a pedestal, as long as you let your desires control your actions, you'll remain trapped in this cycle of frustration and defeat. Today, I'm going to show you how to change the game. I'm going to show you how to break free from this mental prison and become the man you were born to be. A man who doesn't bow, who doesn't sell out, who doesn't beg for attention. A man who knows his worth and doesn't need anyone's approval. Get ready because what's coming next isn't for the weak. If you want to stay in your comfort zone, leave the video now. But if you're ready to face the truth, to transform yourself, to take back control of your life, then keep watching, because what I'm about to say will change everything. Let's go. Number one, evaluation is the key. Oh, so you think evaluating a woman beyond beauty and sex is something revolutionary, right? Buddy, let me tell you a secret. If you're still at the level of being hypnotized by a pair of pretty eyes and a short skirt, it's time to wake up to life. Beauty is like an Instagram filter. It can be dazzling, but it's pure illusion. And you, my friend, have to learn to see beyond the superficial shine. There's no point in drooling over a woman just because she's beautiful. That only shows that you're still a prisoner of your most primitive instincts, like a teenager who just discovered what desire is. You need to look beyond the obvious because if your judgment is based solely on her outward appearance, you're doomed to fall into the same traps over and over again. Let's be honest. How many times have you ignored those warning signs just because you were too caught up in desire? That's right, more times than you'd like to admit. But here's the harsh, raw truth. If you don't detach from this obsession with sex, you'll keep tripping over the same mistakes. Like a blind man in a room full of traps. Detachment isn't just about resisting temptation, it's about having the mental clarity to really evaluate who's by your side. It's not about measuring if she's good enough for you, but asking yourself if she really shares your values, if she respects you, if she's worth investing your time and energy in. And if you think that just her beauty justifies that, it's time to rethink your priorities. When you finally take off the blindfold of desire, things become much clearer. You start to realize that this stunning woman might not have anything to offer beyond an attractive appearance. And buddy, Appearance doesn't sustain any relationship. You don't want to spend the rest of your life with someone who's only beautiful on the outside but empty on the inside, do you? So, stop being predictable and start seeing beyond the superficial. Stop wasting energy on those who aren't worth it and start attracting women who truly share your values because only then will you break out of this vicious cycle of bad choices. Remember, a woman's value isn't in what's between her legs, but in what she carries in her heart and mind. Number two, talk less, be more. Be the man she really wants, not the one who just bothers her. So you think she'll like you more just because you're always available, sending her messages every five minutes, asking how her day went, what she's doing, if she ate, if she slept well, buddy. You're digging your own grave with that avalanche of messages. Let me be clear. The more you talk, the less she values you. That's right. You're lowering yourself to the level of someone who has nothing better to do than chase after her like a lost puppy. You need to understand something. That desperate need to please her is what makes you look weak and needy. And don't fool yourself into thinking that she'll realize how much you care because you're always present. In fact, all she sees is a guy who's so obsessed that he can't take a step without thinking about her. And guess what? That's a huge turnoff. Do you know what really attracts a woman? A man who knows what he wants but isn't desperate to get it. A guy who desires her but doesn't let that desire control his every move. When you're constantly trying to please her, 
you become a prisoner of your own desire. And frankly, there's nothing less attractive than that. Imagine you're a prize. Now tell me, does a prize go running after people begging to be won? Of course not! A prize is something valuable, something people fight to win. So, why are you behaving as if it's the opposite? When you don't let desire dominate you, you become that man she looks at and thinks, what's so special about him? Why isn't he begging for my attention like everyone else? The big truth is that when you hold back, when you stop sending messages all the time and trying to please her every moment, you start to stand out. And that's exactly when you become the man she truly desires, not just another guy in the lineup of desperate men ready to do anything for a crumb of attention. Number three, female nature will test you. Are you going to fall like a fool or stay strong? Let's face reality here. Women, with all their cunning and intuition, have an almost supernatural ability to test your inner strength. And there's no point in trying to avoid it. They will test you, buddy, and they'll do it seriously. And do you know why? Because they want to see what you're made of. They want to know if you're just another guy in the crowd, or if you're the man who can maintain control, who knows who he is and what he wants, without being swayed by emotional provocations and games. Here's a truth you might not want to hear but need to. Every time you lose your composure, every time you react emotionally like an insecure teenager, putting her on a pedestal, you automatically become less attractive in her eyes. That's right. You're digging your own grave by letting your emotions get the better of you. Women fall in love with consistency, with congruence, with strength of character. They want someone who, no matter what happens, doesn't lose his way or his essence. But let's get to the point. If you're ruled by sexual desire, you lose that inner strength. And honestly, if that's happening, it's because you're allowing something so basic to control you. You become an easy target, a toy in her hands, easily manipulated, simply because you can't control your impulses. And women, whether consciously or unconsciously, will test you on this. They want to see if you're strong enough not to give in, if you have the integrity to stand firm in your principles, or if you'll bend at the first opportunity. The reality is harsh, but necessary. When you realize you're being tested, your first reaction shouldn't be one of desperation or irritation. You need to stay calm, not be swayed by the heat of the moment. This is exactly where you show what you're made of. A solid man doesn't react like an emotional roller coaster, going up and down with every provocation. He remains constant because he knows who he is, knows his values, and won't be swayed from them by a simple provocation. But this doesn't mean you should be cold as ice. On the contrary, it's about being firm, but at the same time compassionate and secure. Be the man who, even in the face of provocations, maintains his dignity and doesn't get caught up in games. That's the kind of man a woman respects and eventually desires. Because she knows you're not moved by her whims but by something greater, something internal that doesn't easily waver. And here's the trick. These tests aren't just a game. Often they're disguised opportunities that life gives you to strengthen yourself, to grow as a person. God, the universe, or whatever you believe in, puts these challenges in your path to shape you, to teach you valuable lessons. So the next time you realize you're being tested, don't see it as a problem, but as an opportunity to become even stronger. Instead of reacting impulsively, use these moments to show your true essence. Be the man who doesn't bend, who doesn't give in to external pressures. Show that you're someone she can trust, who doesn't get destabilized by an emotional test. And believe me, when you start living this way, not only do you gain her respect, but you also grow as a person, becoming a real man, someone who knows his worth and doesn't need to prove anything to anyone. So buddy, the next time you feel like you're being tested, take a deep breath, stay calm, and remember who you are. Be consistent, be firm, and above all, be true to yourself. That's how you pass life's tests, with honor and integrity. And that's how you become the man any woman would respect and admire. Number four, 
Master the art of silence, because not everyone needs to know everything all the time. Let's get to the point. You talk too much. And do you know what that says about you? That you're desperate. Desperate to be noticed, to be validated, to make sure she's still interested in you. And guess what? That's not attractive at all. Now pay attention, because here's the real key. Silence. Yes, buddy. Silence is one of the most powerful weapons at your disposal. And if you know how to use it, you'll realize that fewer words can mean much more. Many men believe they need to always be filling the space with words, as if silence were something bad, an enemy to be defeated. They think that if they don't respond right away, they'll lose her attention, as if she'll forget they exist just because they didn't send a good morning emoji at 7 a.m. What nonsense. What you don't realize is that silence creates mystery. And mystery, my friend, is what really attracts. When you don't respond right away, when you let that silence hang in the air, she starts to think, what's he doing? Why hasn't he responded yet? That kind of thinking is what makes you stand out. Not by being absent, but by not being desperate. When you let silence fill the space, you create a void that she'll want to fill. And guess what? She'll start trying harder to get your attention. Mastering silence isn't just about staying quiet. It's about conveying a confidence that doesn't need words to be expressed. When you're comfortable with silence, you demonstrate self-control, patience, and most importantly, that you're not desperate to please. You show that you're the kind of man who knows what he wants, who's at peace with himself, and who doesn't need to chase after anyone to feel complete. This is the essence of strategic silence. It's not about ignoring, but about knowing when to speak and, most importantly, when not to. When you stay quiet, you give her the chance to think, to reflect, to question herself. And the more she thinks, the more interested and curious she becomes. Suddenly, you're no longer the guy who's always there, available for any meaningless conversation. You become the mysterious guy, the one who doesn't give everything away on a silver platter. And that's exactly what keeps her attracted. So, the next time you feel that uncontrollable need to respond right away, to fill every space with empty words, stop and think. Is this really necessary? Or would silence be more effective here? Most of the time, the answer is silence. Because silence, when used well, speaks louder than a thousand words. It shows that you don't need to beg for attention, that you're confident enough to let things flow naturally. At the end of the day, silence isn't just a tool. It's a statement, a statement that you're a man of value, who doesn't need to chase after anyone to feel validated. And that silent confidence is what will make her even more interested, more attracted, and eventually more involved with you. Because after all, who wouldn't want to be with someone who exudes confidence without needing to say a word? So, master silence. Use it wisely and see how it can transform the way women perceive you. Be the man who doesn't need to say much to be noticed, because sometimes what's not said is what matters most. Number five, respect your time and energy, because you're not someone's needy nanny. Let's get to the point, buddy. Your time and energy are the most valuable assets you have. And what are you doing with them? Wasting them on any woman who throws you a smile? Wake up! You're not someone's nanny. Especially not for women who just want to take advantage of your attention without giving anything in return. It's time you stop acting like an emotional beggar and start respecting yourself. Understand this once and for all. Time is the only resource you'll never get back. And if you're wasting yours on women who don't add value to your life, who are only there to feed their ego, you're throwing away the most precious thing you have. Do you know what that says about you? That you don't value yourself. That you're willing to accept anything that comes your way. And that, my friend, is a recipe for failure. Being selective isn't being arrogant. It's being smart. Don't go out with a woman just because she's pretty. Beauty, as I've told you before, is fleeting and superficial. Ask yourself if she's really worth your time. Is she bringing something valuable to your life? Is she helping you grow, develop, become a better person? If the answer is no, then why on earth are you wasting your time with her? When you start valuing your time and energy, 
Something magical happens. You become more attractive, more desirable. Women notice that you're not just anyone, that you're a man with priorities, with a purpose. You're not out there chasing after anyone who crosses your path because you have more important things to do. And guess what? That makes you more interesting. You stop being an easy toy to manipulate and become a challenge, someone they really need to win over. It's simple. The more selective you are, the more they'll want you. Because no one wants what's too easy, what's always available. Women want a man who has value, who knows what he wants, and who's not willing to waste his life on those who don't deserve it. And that attitude, that confidence in yourself, is what will make them desire you even more. So, the next time you find yourself investing time and energy in someone, stop and reflect. Is she really worth your time? Is she really adding something to your life? If the answer is no, cut that relationship off immediately. Stop sabotaging yourself. Stop putting yourself second. Respect yourself, respect your time, respect your energy. Because at the end of the day, you're the only one responsible for how you spend those resources. And if you waste them, you only have yourself to blame. Remember, you're not just anyone. You're a man of value. A man who knows what he wants and won't waste his life on someone who doesn't deserve it. And that attitude, that certainty that your time is precious, is what will set you above the rest. Don't be the guy who settles for crumbs. Be the guy who demands the best and because of that, attracts the best. Respect yourself because if you don't, no one else will. Number six, strengthen your emotions. Because if you don't control your emotions, someone else will. Let's be clear here. If you're not capable of controlling your emotions, then who is in control? Exactly. Anyone who manipulates your feelings, whether it's a woman ignoring you, a friend disappointing you, or even a stranger cutting you off in traffic. If you let these things get under your skin, you're handing over your power on a silver platter. And honestly, there's nothing more pathetic than that. What makes you think a woman is going to respect you if you fall apart just because she didn't reply to your message? Or worse, if you lose your mind because she distanced herself a bit? Do you know what that says about you? That you're weak, that you have no control over yourself. And that, my friend, is a recipe for being manipulated at will, like a leaf in the wind. Strengthening your emotions isn't just about being tough on the outside, but about building an inner fortress that no one can break down. It's understanding that rejection is part of the game, that it's nothing personal. Who said you were always going to win? If you can't deal with loss, rejection, or frustration in a mature and healthy way, then you've got a lot to learn. Because life isn't a bed of roses, and if you let every little obstacle knock you down, you're doomed to be a loser. You need to develop a resilient mindset, one that doesn't crumble easily. Every rejection, every frustration should be an opportunity to strengthen yourself even more. When you're emotionally strong, there's no provocation or test that can destabilize you. You become a man who knows what he wants, who doesn't stray from his path just because things didn't go as planned. This is the true foundation of masculinity, having control over your emotions. Women don't want a boy who reacts to every little provocation. They want a man, someone who is stable, mature, who keeps his cool even in the worst storms. When you show that nothing can knock you off course, you become a rock, someone who is respected and admired, not just by women, but by everyone around you. So, the next time you feel overwhelmed, when anger or frustration threatens to take over, stop and breathe. Ask yourself, does this really deserve so much of my energy? If the answer is no, then let it go. Because if you don't learn to control your emotions, someone else will do it for you. And trust me, you're not going to like the result. Number seven, embrace solitude as your best ally. Because if you can't stand yourself, who will? Here's the reality check you need, buddy. Are you tired of chasing after approval? Of begging for attention? Then stop and listen carefully. Solitude is your greatest ally, not the enemy you've been treating like a curse. If you still believe you need someone by your side to fill that void inside you, it's time to face the truth. That void is yours, 
and only you can fill it. You're out there, jumping from one relationship to another, looking in others for what you should be finding within yourself. But let me tell you something. As long as you keep running from solitude, you'll keep running from yourself. Solitude isn't the monster you think it is. It's actually the mirror that reflects the naked truth about who you really are. And let me tell you up front, facing that reflection is the most liberating thing you'll ever do. When you embrace solitude, you start facing your inner demons, those fears and insecurities you try to hide even from yourself. You start shedding all the masks you wear to protect yourself, and you finally see yourself as you truly are, without filters, without illusions. And that's where you discover that the only person who needs to be complete in your life is you. Want a secret? When you become complete by yourself, when you stop seeking validation in others, something incredible happens. You become unbreakable. No rejection, no absence, no loss can affect you because you've already found everything you needed within yourself. And you know what else? Women start seeing you differently. Not because you've changed to please them, but because they see something rare in you. A man who doesn't need them to be happy. That, my friend, is true power. When you're able to embrace solitude, to feel comfortable in your own skin, you free yourself. You free yourself from the chains that bind you to the desperate need to have someone by your side, from the societal expectations that make you believe you need a relationship to be complete. You realize you don't need anyone to validate you because you've already validated yourself. And then, do you know what happens? Everyone starts wanting a piece of you. People perceive your strength, your independence, your confidence. But the best part is that when you reach this level, you know you don't need any of that. You're already complete. You're already enough. The presence of someone in your life becomes a bonus, not a necessity. So stop running after illusions. Stop trying to fill the void with the presence of someone who, deep down, will never be able to give you what you need. Start running after yourself because at the end of the day, the only person you really need to conquer is you. When you finally embrace solitude, you become the man you were born to be. Unbreakable, independent, and absolutely free. And that, my friend, is the true secret to living fully. It's time for you to wake up. Leave behind the chains that bind you to fear, insecurity, and the desperate need for approval. Today, you discovered what truly matters. Owning yourself. Embracing solitude as an ally. Strengthening your emotions. And respecting your time and energy. Every lesson you learned here is a step toward your true power, toward your true masculinity. Remember, you don't need anyone to be complete. Everything you've always sought is within you. When you embrace this truth, you become unbreakable. And it's exactly there where the magic happens when you become the man who doesn't bow down, who doesn't beg, who isn't swayed by the winds of others' expectations. You become the man you were born to be, the man who is admired, respected, and above all, free. Now that you're armed with these truths, it's time to take the reins of your life. Stop settling for less than you deserve and start demanding the best from yourself. Don't be just another face in the crowd. Be the man who walks his own path. If you're ready for this journey of self-discovery and power, then don't wait any longer. The life you've always wanted is waiting for you. All you need to do is take the first step. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, leave a like, and share it with that friend who needs to hear these truths. And remember, the power is in your hands, and the time to act is now. Until next time, and keep becoming the best version of yourself, you deserve it, and nothing less.